If you're a nerd like me, uh, knowing how your PC hardware is performing while you're gaming is very valuable information. Knowing the temperatures of my hardware, their utilization percentages, clock speeds, and other stuff is all really useful to me. And I'm sure that there are others out there that would like to know how they can do it too. Now there's a lot of different ways of going about getting that information. And in this video, I'm going to show you one way to do it by using MSI Afterburner and RevaTuner. These are very popular tools used by many gamers and PC tech reviewers to get their system statistics on screen while they're gaming. And if you've watched any graphics card review videos, I'm pretty certain that you've seen Afterburner and RevaTuner in action. Okay, I hear you. Uh, enough talking. Uh, let's show you how to use it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to type in uh, MSI Afterburner into our Google search bar. Of course, I've already done that. So there it is. Uh, then we want to click on the link here to the MSI Afterburner page uh, that is on MSI.com website. And it will bring us here. Uh, from here, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And here we have the download for MSI Afterburner click on download and it will start doing that and there we are once the download has completed we can click on that so let me bring this window on over which then takes us to our downloaded installation file um, I always like to come back to here and hit right click on the folder and hit extract uh, first and which then that then brings us into our ready to uh, install application file and double click on it and uh, then we'll have to click yes OBS doesn't pick this up but you'll see it on your screen um, then we've got uh, to select our language here uh, obviously I'm going to choose English I hit OK and then we'll hit next uh, click the accept button there then I hit next again and then it asks what we want to install uh, obviously we're installing afterburner and then it wants to know do you want Reva tuner we do want RevaTuner because that's going to give us all our statistics up on our screen that we want. Let's hit next and then you can install this wherever you want to the default location or anywhere else on your computer. I'm just going to do the default location. Hit next. Uh, you can say do not create shortcuts if you want, but I'm just going to hit install now and let it do its thing. It's a pretty small lightweight program and actually installs pretty darn quickly. All right. Now that we're done, uh, it is prompting us to install RevaTuner. Um, and so we're going to select our language once again, hit OK, uh, then hit Next, uh, Accept, and hit Next another time here. And then we can choose where we want RevaTuner to be installed to, uh, just like we did with uh, Afterburner. Um, again, I'm just going to install it to the default location, hit Next, and then hit Install. This is also a very quick installation, just like uh, Afterburner. Okie dokie, we're all done here. We can look at the readme file if we want, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to hit finish, and then uh, we can run MSI Afterburner here. We'll hit finish, and there she is. Now, this is on my 4K monitor, so <laughs> it looks really small, but in the video here, I can zoom in on it so it's not so tiny. Okay, so here we are with MSI Afterburner. Uh, these sliders here are things you can use for overclocking your graphics card. This is not an overclocking tutorial, so I'm not going to mess with any of that right now. What we want to look at here is this cog right here. And, uh, oh, I should mention that your version of Afterburner uh, may not look like this necessarily because I've had Afterburner installed before and it saves uh, my preferences and this is the skin that I chose. You can uh, come into the settings here and you can change uh, those skins somewhere. I don't remember exactly where they are because I haven't messed with it in a really long time. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's something you can change uh, if you want to. You can see right now on my computer I've got a uh, RTX 2070 Super, but what we want to look at here is the monitoring. Now when you first boot this up for the first time, um, I, don't, I don't think any of these are checked, or maybe all of them are checked, I, I don't recall. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to go through here, and uh, here, let me go back to Afterburner here. Um, and if we go, oh, i got to close that. Uh, if we click on Detach, okay, 
Let's get this situated. So here we have a bunch of different statistics. We got our GPU temperature, GPU usage, memory usage, core clock, uh, memory clock, fan speed, CPU temp, uh, CPU usage, and all that stuff. These are just a bunch of different statistics uh, that I have chosen to have displayed here. So let's go back into to here again and go to the monitoring tab. All right, and so we have all of these different things in here. Uh, and if stuff that you want to see on this graph, you're gonna put a check mark next to here. So like if we wanna see the FB usage, uh, you can cl click that. I don't care about that. Uh, I like to see you know, you know my GPU temperature, GPU usage, memory usage, the core clock, the memory clock. Uh, you can click power if you wanna see like whatever, how much power it's using, whatever. I should mention that I'm not a professional with this stuff and I don't necessarily understand every single thing that's on this list. I'm just a normal dude that enjoys looking at this stuff and uh, has just learned how to do this from playing around with it myself. Uh, okay, so we can go on down the list. We got memory usage, core clock, memory clock, I already mentioned that, fan speed. Um, then you can come in here, you can get the fan tack, so you can see like what your, so this, when it says fan speed, this is going to be like a percentage number, like just if it's like running at 50%, 60%, whatever. Uh, the fan tack will actually tell you like the RPMs. I'm not super concerned about that, so I don't worry about it. Um, here you can go to your CPU temperatures. Um, this is like for each individual uh, thread uh, on your CPU. So I have a Ryzen 7 2700X. So it's, I have 16 different CPUs uh, that I can get, you know, basically uh, cores, but it's, you know, it's really, you have eight cores and 16 threads with a 2700X. Um, so anyway, I usually just click this one right here, the CPU temperature, which just gives me one. So then my screen isn't like just completely full of, of stuff. But if you wanna see uh, more detail, uh, by all means, you can go and click all of these. Now, once you have gone through this list and selected all the stuff you wanna see in your list, the next thing you need to do is you're gonna to have to select each one like this. So instead of checking the box, you actually click on the field itself. And then you notice down here, it's got a checkbox that says show an on-screen display. So if it's off, then that means it will not show up on screen while your game is running. Uh, you wanna click that. Now the nice thing is, is you do not have to go through these one at a time and tick this box, you know, like, you know, like this basically. Just like with everything else in Windows, you can select the field here and then hold the control key on your keyboard and then select each field that you want to have on your on-screen display and then you can come down here and you can, you know, like right now I can disable all of them at the same time or enable all of them at the same time. And then it will show it over here uh, in OSD. So in on-screen display. So these, all of these will show up uh, on screen when I load up a game. Now there's one last thing I feel that I should mention here that I learned recently while making a review about the RX 570. When I was testing the RX 570, I was getting some really weird GPU and CPU utilization numbers. The one that really bothered me was the GPU utilization was going from like 1% utilization to 100% to 20% to 60% to 1%. I mean, it was all over the place and it was really weird. If you're experiencing this, in order to get an accurate GPU utilization number is you come to the general tab and scroll down here to under the AMD compatibility properties and check this box right here, enable unified GPU usage monitoring. Um, since I'm using a, an NVIDIA card right now, that I can't check that box. But if you're using an AMD card and you're monitoring you know, something and the numbers seem really weird, um, you probably need to come in and enable this. All right, now that we've done all that stuff, we are ready to fire up a game and get our statistics up on screen. One last quick thing that I need to mention here before we do that is uh, you wanna come down here to this little thing and show your hidden icons. In order for your statistics to show up on screen, you must have Afterburner running and RevaTuner also. And one thing I should mention here on RevaTuner, let's bring that up real quick. Um, you have your on-screen display zoom. Uh, there, there's stuff that you can adjust here. Most of it's just like preferences, you know, colors of things and whatnot. Um, but 
the one I want to talk about is the on-screen display zoom right here. Um, this will change the size of the text in the corner of your screen. See now, this is super small. Um, this is bigger, obviously, and you know, for making videos so that I, so other people can see the numbers on, especially when they're watching on their phones or something, it's good to have the numbers big. Um, but if you're just having the numbers for your own personal preference, you can make them as large or small as you want. Um, you can also move them, move that around like wherever you want. Um, these nice little things kind of help you uh, grip them instantly to a corner. Um, and you can of course position it wherever you want. And last but not least, we want to make sure that the show on screen display is turned on. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's fire up a game and show you what uh, it actually looks like when it's running. All right, so here I've fired up the division uh, just to show you guys uh, what we've got going on. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, I'm out here running around and we've got our stats up on the screen here. We got at the top left, we got our GPU temperature, uh, followed by the GPU utilization. Um, after that, we've got our uh, frequency that the GPU is running at, 2010 megahertz. And then the last percentage number there is the fan speed percentage. And I got that helicopter flying through, but I think I have the audio down low enough that hopefully it's not drowning me out. Um, this is VRAM, so this is how much VRAM is being utilized. And then we've got the uh, effective speed of that memory, and then we've got our CPU temp, CPU utilization, CPU clock speed, and then I've got my RAM utilization on my, my that's system RAM. Um, since I'm screen capturing this, uh, all at the same time as I'm running the game. Uh, I think the CPU utilization in RAM is higher than what it would normally be. Uh, but then we've got our FPS counter and then the uh, frame time counter after that. So whatever whatever uh, you know stuff you choose to sh display will be up there. And you can see all of that statistical goodness uh, just the way you like it. Wow, um, this video turned out quite a bit longer than I thought it would. Well, uh, what did you think of the video? Uh, let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about it, and maybe even what you feel I could improve upon. Uh, if you found the video useful and enjoyed it, uh, and would also like to help support me in my efforts to make more videos, uh, click the like button, share it with your friends, and check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can purchase the cool products that I feature in my videos. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.